Hey everybody, it's Joe Dobbin, and today we're gonna to be finding out is backmarket.com a scam? I've been looking at different reviews, mixed opinions, looking at the physical reviews on the website. So I went and ordered it myself, and we're gonna look at it together so that we can find out if this is something you're willing to invest in in the future. I just got my package in from Back Market. I, I, I already started kind of tearing it open. Um, this is how it came wrapped, a postal box in there. So I'm gonna take it upstairs and we're gonna dissect this box and see how the AirPods Pro that I ordered from Back Market, how it's gonna look like. If it's a cor correct model, I spent over $150 on this furbished item. So I hope it comes out really good because I'm ready to go to the gym right now and I really need to make sure it works. I'm guessing this plastic piece was just to protect it or whenever they switch carriers, the other carrier wrapped it, then they put their own label on top. I'm just covering my address. So let's open it. So it did come with um, an iPhone charging port because I did see one of the reviews on their website that somebody apparently they gave them the wrong charger when um, they ordered one of the Samsung Galaxy headphones. So I just wanted to make sure the AirPods are still in here. So I haven't seen them, but they look like it's the real Apple ones. So if you already made it this far, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button if you're new, so you can stay, you know, kept up with all the new stuff we're gonna be bringing to you guys. And it helps the channel tremendously. And we really do appreciate your support. I don't know, I, I, I don't know if they're the original one because you know how the real iPhone charges kind of feel like skin type plastic? And this is more like a harder type of plastic. So I don't know how organic the charger is or aftermarket and use yet. So the tip, there's no burn marks on the tip. So this is brand new. And here we have it, the AirPods Pro. This is the AirPods case. Honestly, there's no damages on it at all. I don't see any scratches. It looks pretty brand new. I don't know what, I mean, the scratches are like, you can barely see them on the front. There's some scratches on the back, but honestly, you couldn't see them. It's just like normal wear and tear, like from just, you know, you can't see it like, you have to really be picky about that, but that's not something I care about. I care about how good it is. So now let's open it. Okay, it works perfectly fine. Now let me try connecting it to my phone. So now moving on to the functionality and capability, I did want to make sure I, I've had a real pair before. So the number one thing I wanted to check for is the noise cancellation, if it worked. And immediately off rip, when you open it up, it shows up just like it would um, on a real one because the fake ones was either just say, well, not your AirPods Pro. So far, everything's authentic. The noise cancellation looked works perfectly just like my other ones that I paid full price for. Now, I went to the music and I pressed play, multiple songs, nothing, nothing at all. So this is a big deal because like I bought these AirPods because I want to listen music to it. So I put the headphones in, I selected the music, nothing's working. So now I'm trying to find a solution and see if I need to restart my phone or if there's something wrong with this one because I would really hate to have to resend this back. When you press connect, press play, and then when you scroll down and hold the little circle thing, select the AirPods itself. I thought I did that the first time, but it, apparently it didn't work the first time. So it works, honestly, the quality of it, it's superb, right? Super superb. I definitely do, so far, I vouch for 100%. Um, for $155, I got the second generation uh, AirPods Pro. The sound canceling look works perfect. I didn't show you guys how they look like, but this is it, right? And honestly, it looks really good. This is the case, right? I have a second AirPod. These are fake, right? These are on my right hand. You can tell the difference. See, the fake one has nothing, no circles, no audio ports. The real one does, which was a great green flag. The audio sounds superb. The bass sounds superb. On the fake one, the the sounds sound very uh, rat like it can't hit the bass the same. And it's very disoriented with high bass music. If you guys wanna see that video, let me know. I didn't know if I should make it for you guys. I did get it just to test it. If you guys wanna see that video, let me know in the section, comment section down below. So this charging case was supposed to be MagSafe as well, but I don't have any MagSafe chargers. So unfortunately I can't test how 
good it works with that um they came charged up 100 the individual buds but the case itself was at 50 percent so now is it worth the price i just paid 155 dollars for this thing including with tax so if i go to apple.com right now it says it's going for 249 dollars before tax so i would be paying around 279 dollars for the same exact thing and it's headphones you know, inside everything came in clean, right? I did see some reviews that said it came dirty. You know, this came in in top tier shape. I don't know if there was just competitors trying to make them look bad, but this quality is so great. Obviously, whenever you're buying on places like Backmark or Amazon, it's always going to be cautious. But you, I will vouch for this. You have my word; it's my review. So if you're trying to get yourself an AirPods Pro and you don't want to spend almost three hundred dollars for an electronic that somebody else doesn't want anymore or they threw away, go get it at backmarket.com. This video is not sponsored by them. This was my first time working with them. So I want to help you guys save money on your electronics. If you've had a back market item before, let me know how it went for you guys in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.